From Burnie to Broome and Dubbo to Darwin, across the nation there are exciting job opportunities in rural, regional and remote Australia. Whether you're a recent graduate wanting to kickstart your career or an experienced practitioner looking for a change of lifestyle, rural, regional and remote communities offer challenging, rewarding and supportive work environments. You'll get to live in some amazing locations and also make friends for life. Take a look at the benefits of practising law in rural, regional and remote Australia. My name's Ali Rees. I'm a trainee lawyer and I work in Shepparton in regional Victoria. Reed and Legal, where I work, is a general law firm. We've got a number of departments. I'm in property and conveyancing and also commercial. I've been here for six months. I graduated last June and moved up here in November. They sort of said, look, if you're serious about moving up and you're interested in what we're doing, um, name your starting day. And I sort of thought, whoa, where's the round two, you know, selections and the round three selections and the interviews and the hoops that you have to jump through because there was none of that. That really appealed to me. I thought I was coming up for a law job and, you know, getting the first initial skills that every training lawyer has to get. Uh, what I found was that when you live in a smaller community and you work on the legal problems there, your work becomes extremely evident in that community. Uh, for example, if I've helped negotiate a lease for one of the large shopping centres that are all popping up around Shepparton, it's kind of a crazy feeling to go into that shopping centre and see one of the shops getting set up and think, ah, oh, I negotiated the lease for that spot, you know. It gives you a real sense of satisfaction to see that your efforts are actually changing the community around you. So that was a really unexpected benefit and um, something of real importance to me. I'd encourage other lawyers to come up here and other regional areas, mainly because they need lawyers. Um, the law firms are understaffed around here and there's a huge amount of really good work to do. A lot of the times when I mention that I'm not in the city, I receive the assumption from other people that I'm just doing conveyancing work or something like that. But it couldn't be further from the truth. The legal matters that you meet up here are usually pretty unique and very challenging. One of the scary things about moving to a regional area is you think, all right, my life is gonna be turned upside down and everything that I'm familiar with is gone. But I haven't found that at all. Like I'm still enough in touch with um, my life in Melbourne to, you know, touch base back there every time I feel that I need to. And yet now I've got another life, well, at least I've added to that life in a very significant way up here. So it's not like my life has been turned upside down. It's just that it's kind of expanded immeasurably. Um, I get to be involved in a lot of community stuff, whether it be arts or sport or um, professional organisations. I'm 30 minutes away from where I go water skiing. I'm three hours away from my favourite mountain for the winter. There's wineries, there's lots of sport. Um, there's a big emphasis on arts as well. There's a theatre group up here, a couple of orchestras, a lot of jazz groups. So if you play an instrument, um, you'll be welcomed with open arms. <laughs> it's what I wanted out of my professional life. So it's just been fantastic and really rewarding. My name's Colin McKenzie. I live in Burnie. I practice here as mainly a litigation lawyer and I'm a partner of a small general practice firm. I've been working in Burnie for around 24 years, came in 1986. My wife and I, who's also a lawyer, we were looking to move out of Hobart. In the capital, there's a lot more competition for the work and you know, we were finding that, that the opportunities for trying things a little bit more challenging weren't really being presented. We were doing just routine stuff. So we came hoping to get more challenges in the work that we were offered and we certainly got that. For myself, uh, I was doing criminal law appearances, court and sessions appearances, uh, workers' compensation cases, 
I was travelling to uh, even more remote areas than here down the west coast providing service to a mining town. I found it very interesting. It was once a month I was out of the office overnight and, and I really loved travelling around the countryside. Um, I'd fit in bushwalks while I was away. My employers didn't mind that and uh, yeah, I actually enjoyed the variety. I wasn't just stuck in an office grinding away at the same old stuff week after week. It, it, it really delivered on that expectation. Working here uh, changed my life in ways which I think wouldn't have been available if I'd stayed in a major city. Uh, I mean, where I came from as a young practitioner, senior partners of firms were competing with each other within the firm and between firms for what I now regard as fairly minor uh, matters. Here, we can pick and choose. We don't have to compete for the work and we can do major matters if we want to. We can choose to do things that are more simple and less challenging. I tended to choose things that were challenging. Um, they were things that they were matters that I probably wouldn't have got to do if I'd remained in a larger centre for many years. That gave me generally more confidence. Even just coming to a regional area where I'd never lived before, I didn't know anyone in this town, I've discovered that you can pretty much live anywhere and you can get to know people and you can fit in. And, and really in a regional community, People make an effort to join you in. They, they're aware of the challenges that come from moving to a new place, and, and particularly if you've got kids. And uh, they'll help you make those connections, and I really enjoyed that. They won't just leave you to sort of, what would you call it, flounder, you know, all by yourself out there in a suburb. My name is Charlene Musk. Uh, we're in Naja, the Aboriginal Legal Service of the Northern Territory. Uh, we operate the top half from about Catherine upwards. My role here is practice manager uh, for the criminal law team and uh, I've been here more recently for about three years in, in this particular role. I have a social conscience. I believe that um, I make a difference in every, every job I take on at Naja, um, down at the courts with my clients. There is this inequality and disadvantage that our clients perceive on any given day. We try to, uh, I guess, adjust the balance and ensure that our clients are getting access to justice and access to the courts that um, they otherwise wouldn't get access without us being there. We're, we're like uh, the gatekeepers to justice, I feel. It's different from any other job you'll ever experience, especially in the, in the legal profession. I guess it's just being exposed to um, more than just the law, um, politics, uh, I guess the challenges facing a lot of our Indigenous people in terms of uh, social welfare issues, uh, the impact of the intervention on the ground level, I think it's really opened my eyes to, uh, I guess, all these social welfare issues over and above um, the, the legal issues and uh, getting involved in law reform, getting involved in a lot of committees, uh, boards, uh, reviews that um, Naja uh, often puts her hand up to do. And I think it's giving me a voice um, outside of the courtroom. We try to build our lawyers up, make sure that they're experienced enough and qualified enough to get into the Supreme Court, but it will happen quickly. You just won't get that opportunity as you would down south. It's the most laid back lifestyle you'll ever experience. You get to wear shorts every day of the year if you want to, but not in court. The people are great. I make so many friends, you will make so many friends when you come here. It's just brilliant, the, the, the diversity and uh, the range of cultures and traditions that you will see on a daily basis. It's like a second home, it's a sense of belonging when you come here. My name's Jackson Mallory. I'm a solicitor at the Townsville Community Legal Service in North Queensland. I've been working here for roughly a year and a half. I began as paralegal. At the end of being a paralegal, I was uh, admitted as a solicitor in the Supreme Court of Queensland, and uh, now I work here predominantly assisting people with cyclone-related issues. When Cyclone Yazi hit North Queensland in 2011, uh, it was very unexpected and I've very much enjoyed assisting people with their cyclone related issues amongst other issues that community legal centres do assist people with. I mean you see it in your day to day work, helping people realise what the law is, how it affects them and, and whether or not there's a solution to any, any of their problems. I think it's important for lawyers to take up such opportunities just to see the rest of Australia and everything that the rest of Australia has to offer. It's a great country, it's a very large country. that. Um, and there are parts of it that people don't give it enough credit for, so I, you know, why not 
I get out and, and see the real Australia. And this place is a bit of an adventure playground. Castle Hill in the middle of town offers an opportunity for people every morning and every afternoon to climb a mountain in, right in the middle of town on your doorstep. Uh, the Magnetic Island is just a short boat right away and just a little bit further than that you can go snorkeling on the Great Barrier Reef or diving in shipwrecks. The main career benefit of working in this type of community is that it's a small legal community. Everybody knows each other very well. It's very easy to network. I think it's fantastic because it helps my interpersonal skills ever since I started working here. I talk to a lot of people every day, I meet a lot of people every day and I've learnt to be a lot more confident. If you like being in a small community and you like getting to know everybody in your legal community and not only that, possibly even knowing judges and magistrates on a first name basis, if, if that's the type of uh, career that you want as opposed to sitting in a large office and just being one person amongst many in your own legal firm, you know, if you want beyond that then move here. My name's Jenny Blocklin. I'm a judge of the Supreme Court of the Northern Territory. The court is based primarily in Darwin, but court runs all the time as well in Alice Springs, and we occasionally uh, sit in other regional centres of the Northern Territory. To date, I've been a judge of the Supreme Court in the Northern Territory for a year now, and was admitted as a, a lawyer about 30 years ago. Virtually all of my practice career has been in the Northern Territory. Most of it in Darwin, but uh, a lot of it in regional and remote parts of the Northern Territory. For a short time I was also based uh, in Alice Springs. But essentially, like a lot of people, finished uni, really needed to earn some money, so I came to Darwin for a three-month job at the public trustee with one bag and a guitar um, for that three months that's now over 30 years ago. There is a need for professionals of all types uh, in regional and remote Australia. It seems to me that a couple of generations ago, it was a really honourable thing to go out bush for a while and teach or uh, be involved in some other uh, beneficial activity to a community that doesn't have a lot of resources. And I don't see that lawyers should be any different. You'll meet very quickly the judicial officers, whether they're in the Magistrates Court or the Supreme Court, and that will happen just very naturally. You won't have to feel you have to join some part of the profession to have access to the whole of the profession. So although there are the traditions, same traditions uh, in the profession as other parts of the country, um, it is easier to move around in the profession. You're not expected to specialise quite so early and in actual fact you probably get a better grasp of more areas of the law, especially early in practice. And it certainly doesn't uh, do one's career any harm. Uh, if nothing, you only have to look at the likes of uh, Ian Barker QC, um, look at retired judges now, uh, particularly of the Victorian Supreme Court. I'm thinking off the top of my head, Justices Coldry, Eames, Vincent, who've all spent a lot of time in the Northern Territory, leaders of uh, the profession on a number of issues. You think of uh, Dr Nanette Rogers, SC, in Alice Springs, Susan Cox, QC, uh, the Director of uh, Legal Aid in the Northern Territory. So there are plenty of opportunities, including for women. You do end up spending a lot of time travelling, uh, whether uh, driving between towns. A lot of places are too remote, particularly in the wet season, to drive. So you might end up flying. And although uh, you can feel a little bit, um, perhaps a little anxious on light planes, uh, I can tell you that uh, the 20 minute plane trip going from Jabiru Court to Gunbulunya across the escarpment uh, in Kakadu National Park probably beats um, half an hour or an hour in downtown traffic. My name's Tom Allen, I'm a solicitor with Legal Aid in Broome. Uh, I'm employed on the Country Lawyers Project from uh, the West Australian State Government. I didn't actively seek an area where there weren't uh, provision of legal services, but certainly it's something I believe in. Before I came to WA, I think up to 60 to 70% of country and remote uh, 
legal positions weren't filled. And now that that has been, I think that offers a great service to the community. So I think there's, that it's important that there are multiple practices in these areas. Two reasons why young lawyers should take up country positions. Firstly, for their own career development. Uh, given the breadth of experience it affords, and also the, the definite career path uh, acceleration that it that can give you. Uh, colleagues that I know that have worked in country placements who then choose to go back to the city uh, invariably get better promotions and, and quicker progressions than those colleagues who've chosen to remain in the city. Uh, the second aspect is really for the service of the legal fraternity and for the community it serves. Uh, often young practitioners and practitioners generally uh, choose to stay in rural areas uh, for a short time and that's always an ongoing need that practitioners return there. Being in a country town uh, gives you a great array of, uh, of lifestyle benefits. Firstly, the sporting clubs, uh, often the hub of, uh, of social activity, and certainly joining sporting teams here in Broome uh, has given us an instant friendship base. Also, the proximity uh, to other amenities uh, like the beach, areas where you can go with your family, uh, is of, uh, of great benefit. A month in the life of a legal aid lawyer in, in rural and remote Western Australia, and especially here in the West Kimberley, is certainly a varied experience. A court sits every day at some location, and we're expected to offer a duty service uh, to anybody charged in that court. Additionally, uh, the court sits at uh, the more remote locations uh, on a fortnightly basis, uh, so we travel by light aircraft uh, to other communities uh, to service the, those criminal courts. The aircraft carries about 10 people, uh, we're up at 7am, going to wherever we have to sit court that day, and court can sit to midday to 6pm to in the afternoon, and then we travel back to, to the next community in there. Uh, as I uh, uh, was recently admitted, uh, working in a country area certainly enhanced my future career opportunities. Uh, it's also built my uh, skill level base and my competencies both uh, in the courtroom and working with clients. It's also given me uh, a, a greater family life, and uh, one that I'm quite confident uh, will hold my whole family instead for the future if I choose to continue to work in the country or move back to a, a city practice. My name is Tara Kearney. I work in Victoria Legal Aid in Shepparton in regional Victoria. I've always wanted to work at Legal Aid because I've always been interested in criminal law and that's a practice area I wanted to work in and it's the biggest criminal law practice in Victoria. Also I've volunteered for Legal Aid for a long time and I've always felt like it's a really supportive place to work and a friendly environment. I chose this community because I've always wanted to work at Victoria Legal Aid and this was an area that was offering a job and I thought it would be a good place to come to because of the diversity in the work that you get in the regional areas. So we can be rostered on as duty lawyer at various courts, that can be in crime or in family violence. We run three clinics, so civil, criminal and family law clinics, which we give advice to people on appointment basis. We also have just office days where we work on our own files and have interviews with our own clients. I just hope to learn as much as possible. I think it's really good that I've got I've gotten exposure to so many things just in the short time that I've been here. My name's Patrick O'Callaghan. I'm um, the Principal Solicitor at the Western New South Wales Community Legal Centre here in Dubbo. I definitely think the best thing about working in a regional community is interacting with the people. Dubbo itself is about 40,000 people, um, so it's a, it's a reasonable size regional town. As a country lawyer, you, you travel and you go out to smaller places and getting to meet people, sit down and talk to them about whatever their problems might be, as well as just getting to know them, I think is always the best um, the best part of the job by a mile. You know, that, that's why I got into law and that's why you do, you know, I think, the sort of work that I'm doing. I've found the lifestyle benefits of being in, in Dubbo in particular. You're within very close proximity to everything. Um, I can walk into the, to the main shopping centres. Uh, I'm 10 minutes from work uh, walking, so I, I walk to work every day with a young family. Uh, a wife and a, a two-year-old son. It's been great. It means I can come home at lunchtime um, and spend an hour with, with my little fella and, and my wife um, and get home you know, at a reasonable hour of an evening, even if I worked till 5.30, 6 o'clock or something. You know, you're home 10 minutes after you decide to leave the office, so you don't have to factor in that travel time. And it's just friendly. 
Everyone says hello to you wherever you go. Yeah, and so it's, it's very welcoming and, and a warm community. And there's plenty of social things to do as well um, around here. We've got the zoo, which Dubbo's famous for. We always take friends and, and family out there. Um, and we go out ourselves. We've got you know, zoo passes so we can go out whenever we want. We play some social lawn bowls, we play you know, social cricket, indoor stuff. So there's a lot of different things you can do. When I first moved out, I, I did have some reservations about leaving the city. There was certainly a, you know, an element of, of unknown about what was going to happen, but for me that was part of the adventure. To grow as a person, you have to step outside your comfort zone and um, you really learn a lot about yourself, you learn a lot about what you're good at and what you're not good at, um, and how to work on, on things, both personally and professionally. And so that was certainly the biggest um, challenge for me, um, but it, you know, it's paid off, I think, great, and, and it's been really rewarding. My name's Kate Booth and I'm a lawyer at Darwin Community Legal Service in the Northern Territory. I've been working at Darwin Community Legal Service for about 19 months and it was my first job out of university. I originally came up here to do my law degree and decided to stay in the Territory because I just love the lifestyle, the, the people I met and also working in, in the same area where I'd done my degree. When I was at law school I never thought that I'd work for a community legal service but since applying for the job and taking it on I've really enjoyed helping the community and helping people and just getting that satisfaction that these people who normally don't have access to justice or to legal services are getting that, that service. I think having the opportunity to work in a place like Darwin uh, is the experience of extra time spending in court and you get, you get basically thrown into the deep end as soon as you start a position. You have to fend for yourself a lot and it's a great experience. I've been able to build on my legal skills very quickly. With nearly two years experience now, I've, I've been representing clients in court, I've been advising clients, I've been doing all those sort of things that more senior lawyers probably do in um, the eastern cities. The lifestyle benefits of living in Darwin are definitely the weather and especially in May to October when the rest of Australia is experiencing winter. It's uh, the best time of the year up here. There's lots of social things, uh, sporting clubs, markets, festivals, all that sort of thing. And it's also a great work-life balance, especially working for a community legal service. You get flexible hours so you can finish work when the sun's still up and still enjoy a bit of social life. My name's Matthew Verney. Uh, I'm a legal practitioner in Devonport in northwest Tasmania and uh, I uh, practice general litigation and uh, general practice. I've been working here since 1994. Uh, I came up here after, after uni and I chose this, this community um, in a sense it almost chose me. I was lucky to get some uh, summer vacation work when I was still at uni and uh, the firm that uh, took me on then offered me, offered me a job for uh, when I finished uni. And, uh, this, decided I loved the place and stayed after that. One of the encouraging factors here is thinking about what it is that you want in life. And life's bigger than work. Sure, I'm, I'm a lawyer, but that's only my job. Um, there's more to me than being a lawyer. And I get here to, you know, to have the opportunity of doing more than just being a lawyer. So if you're interested in sporting activities or climbing or swimming, or even community activities as well, we have them all here. But we also have you know, arts, we have theatre, uh, but a good a bit small but a good cafe culture here as well. It all comes back to that balance uh, and if that's what you're looking for, North West Tasmania is pretty good for that uh, as opposed to the, the humdrum of Melbourne or Sydney. As I said, the career benefits are the opportunity to handle a diverse range of cases or files. Today, for example, I can go and appear in the Magistrates Court. Tomorrow I can appear in the Supreme Court. At any time, you know, in, in any of the other tribunals are within easy reach and the ability to have a general practice on the northwest coast without that pressure of specialisation that might occur elsewhere, I think is a great asset um, professionally. My name's John North and I'm a judge of the District Court in New South Wales. But before being a judge, I was a solicitor and for most of that time I worked in Dubbo in a small practice. I 
had enjoyed living and working in London and I'd enjoyed living and working in Sydney and I loved the beach. But when I got back home with young children and the wide open skies and the ease of travel and the particularly um, a good group of friends, I found that I fitted in easily and enjoyed it very much. When you're uh, first put into a local firm in, in the bush, you have to do everything almost from the start. It's the complete opposite to working in a big firm in the city. And I remember my very first day I had to do a defended matter down in the local court. I would tell any young lawyer at the start of their career to think about going bush. They will immediately make great strides in their own personal development and professional development. They will be responsible for clients and they will find that they can do things that they uh, would not be allowed to do uh, in a large or in a city firm. One of my most favourite things is the fact that you get to know your peers and you know who you can rely on and who you can trust and therefore you have a very um, close-knit professional community. You certainly don't get that in metropolitan areas. One of the great things about being a judge in the district court is that we still travel extensively and I like going to country sittings. We usually go for about three weeks at a time. You get to meet all of the local practitioners. You get to see the country lifestyle again. You get to enjoy the big sky, which you can't have here in the city. And also you get a vast variety of work when you're in the country sittings. My name is Raji Baines. I work with the Queensland Indigenous Family Violence Legal Service. Um, I'm based in Cairns. I do travel quite a bit in North Queensland. I come down to Townsville quite frequently and I also do the Gulf uh, Savannah, so going to rural remote areas. Well, I'm originally from Melbourne. I have worked there for a couple of years. I then did a stint overseas in um, uh, Papua New Guinea. So all the nice warm elements of the weather just attracted me to coming up to North Queensland. A week in my job consists of travelling quite frequently and the appeal of this job was that I get to travel to areas in far North Queensland where the access of justice is quite poor. They don't have solicitors as we do in big cities. They, you know, they may see me only once or twice a month and allowing me to go into those communities and actually servicing them to the best that I can, it's, it's a little pat on the back and it does make you feel great about making that small little difference. I did have reservations because it is so far removed from city life that you're thinking, am I doing the right thing for my career? But since moving up here, and I've been up here for almost eight months, that sort of fear has just disappeared because you realise there are so many opportunities that perhaps aren't advertised when you're back in the, the city. But until you get here, then you realise, wow, there is so much more to working and living in far north Queensland. To encourage all those city lawyers to come up to rural and remote areas, um, the benefits so outweigh um, the negatives, and I can't even think of any negatives. I'm not doing the crazy long hours that I would have done in a law firm back home in Melbourne. It's very flexible up here. I can work from home, and quite often I do, whereas the flexibility wasn't there um, in the major cities. It's just an easy way to raise a family up here, and it's, it's just a great opportunity for people to come up and not spend or think that they have to spend their lives in a city when they don't have to. My name is Nadine Miles, I'm the Principal Legal Officer here with the New South Wales ACT Aboriginal Legal Service. Uh, I'm based in Dubbo and a part of my role is supervising the legal practice in the seven offices throughout New South Wales. I've been now with the Aboriginal Legal Service for 12 years. I first got the job with the ALS in Sydney and I've always been someone that's taken on um, the challenge to move to different destinations. I feel that every time you move it's, it is a, a essentially a new job, it's a new start, so I've worked in a number of different offices throughout New South Wales and also had a stint working up in the Northern Territory in Catherine a couple of years ago. For me it's been great because I am an animal owner, I have two large dogs and I've been able to have the dogs um, living with me in a, in a good sized house, 
Um, getting to and from work is an easy thing to do. You can pop home and put your washing on the line and come back to the office within a half hour turnaround. Those kinds of things just cannot be achieved in the city. Everything is close by here that you would be wanting to access in the city. The cost of living benefits also flow through that if you do need that time back in a city with the bright lights and the theatres and the restaurants, you can jump on a plane and have a weekend away back with friends and family. But uh, Everything here in, in Dubbo is close by and, and it's all there to be taken advantage of easily and quickly. You're going to find yourself making friends for life. You're all in it together. There's a real sense of collegiality that builds in small offices like this. People coming from all kinds of backgrounds being pushed together, the one purpose to deliver quality legal services to um, Aboriginal people and I think um, it's a fantastic opportunity you do find that uh, you're given a lot more autonomy with the things that you're doing and the things that you're trying to achieve. It's a little bit like being a bigger fish in a smaller pond and you can develop good networks that can take you further with the career uh, that you're working in. You're dealing with more complex matters because you have to rather than potentially you being ready to deal with those things so it's a challenge um, for you as a young practitioner but it's again it's a once in a lifetime opportunity that shouldn't be that shouldn't be underestimated I'm Julia Barber I live in Broome in Western Australia and I run a sole practice I've been in Broome for 13 years I think practising in a place like Broome in the Kimberley is, is very important. There are so few legal services from really essentially Darwin to Geraldton. So there are a lot of people who, if it wasn't for practitioners like myself and the others in the, in the Kimberley region, there would be so many people without any access to justice or legal advice at all. So I think we really provide a valuable service here. I can run along my beach every day. I'm walking distance to Cable Beach, which is voted time and time again the best beach in the world. I've been involved in belly dancing, where we perform on stage, I engage in yoga. I did boot camp for a number of years. I run every day. You can go fishing and camping and have great dinner parties, and you meet really interesting people. Lots of people come to Broome for all different reasons, and there's this mishmash of people. I think for a solicitor, whether they're a young, upcoming solicitor, or whether they're somebody more experienced, Coming to work in a place like Broome is fabulous. You are dealing with such diverse areas of law. For example, I drafted once a, a, an agreement so that camels could travel to Korea for the Opera Aida. I don't believe you'd ever get that sort of experience in the city. And you're dealing with, you know, a vast range of things. I practice in eight different areas of law. You're learning all the time. You see your result, good or bad. You bump into your clientele often. And you make a huge difference to their lives. I think that in the city, you're in danger of just practicing one area of law. So you sort of, I would think, perhaps sometimes become a bit stagnant. You, you live in these regions and you are learning and you're, you're developing your skills and it's such a great place to live that really you wonder why people don't make that change and think, well, I'm going to go and experience something else. And they, you know, they get a bit in their comfort zone. Come to places like this, you have a great time, you can earn a good living and you're helping lots of people. For more information on rewarding legal careers in rural, regional and remote Australia, go to triplerlaw.com.au.